Roe versus Wade has been overturned. But what does this mean for America's women and children? How can we sort out fact from fiction? Abortion is one of the most polarizing issues debated today, but it is also one of the most misunderstood. So what has the Supreme Court actually done by overturning Roe v. Wade? Not only did Roe make legal abortion a national issue, but it also took it out of the hands of American voters for nearly 50 years. At that time, the court decided that although neither a right to an abortion nor a right to privacy were mentioned in the Constitution, it did imply a right to privacy and that this should be extended to include abortion. This was an extremely contentious ruling at the time and both liberal and conservative legal scholars have criticised the way Roe was decided for decades, even if they agreed with the outcome. The late Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg, herself a staunch abortion supporter, said this, Roe ventured too far in the change it ordered and presented an incomplete justification for its action. In this latest ruling overturning Roe, the court had this to say in its opinion, until the latter part of the 20th century, there was no support in American law for a constitutional right to obtain an abortion. Zero. None. They also say this. Roe was egregiously wrong from the start. Its reasoning was exceptionally weak and the decision has had damaging consequences. It's time to heed the Constitution and return the issue of abortion to the people's elected representatives. The permissibility of abortion and the limitations upon it are to be decided like most important questions in our democracy by citizens trying to persuade one another and then voting. That is what the Constitution and the rule of law demand. This is the real outcome of overturning Roe. The Supreme Court has not made abortion illegal anywhere in the United States. What it has done is hand the power to legislate on abortion back to the individual states. Some will likely make it easier to obtain an abortion even than it is now. And yes, others will ban abortion and act to protect unborn life. 13 states have trigger laws in place, which mean it's likely that they will outlaw abortion in most cases in the next month or so. It's expected that about 26 states in total will pass abortion restrictions. About half of the United States of America is about to ban abortion in many cases.